Good evening and thanks for joining us for Living Local. I'm Heather Kendrick. Coming up on our show tonight, we'll introduce you to a woman behind the counter here at Hendricks College's cafeteria who will make your day. Also tonight, want a good recipe for a quick lunch or an easy dinner? Our chef has one for you. Also a great gift idea for Valentine's Day you can make yourself. All this and more coming up next on Living Local. nine years, Miss Martha Dyer has been serving up home cooking here in the Hendricks cafeteria, but she gives Hendricks students a lot more than just a warm meal each day. She warms their hearts with her kindness and genuine love for them. Miss Martha greets each student by name as they go through the line each day and considers each one of them a member of her family, and the students' feelings for Miss Martha are mutual. Take a look. Miss Martha, you have been working here at Hendricks College for the last nine years. Yes, ma'am. You said, mm -hmm. and tell me why you decided to get a job here. Why did I decide to get a job here? I always like working with, with kids, with, well, not kids, but students mm -hmm. here. But okay. I worked in the daycare for nine years, and I just loved it, and I mm -hmm. thought this would be a good opportunity, so I came back for interviews here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you call them your kids because you really feel like these students are your kids. They're Talk a little of, bit about that. Kind of like adopted kids. I, when they're unhappy, I'm unhappy. If they need a hug, I give them a hug. We cry together. We just, I just mm -hmm. enjoy it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, I was watching you as you were serving the students today, and you're calling every student by name. Oh. How do you get to know them? Well just coming through the line every day mm -hmm. and when we're not just real busy I can talk with them mm -hmm. but if we're real busy I just have to call them by name and they they go on then mm -hmm. but you can always tell if they're upbeat or downbeat or if they need if I need to stop and talk a little longer I do mm -hmm. I do and the rest of the students they understand also yeah mm -hmm. so when a new school year starts and you get new students is it exciting? Are you nervous? It's Talk a little bit about exciting. that. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. I enjoy the new students and it's kind of a little bit harder to start learning names but mm -hmm. I eventually, between Renee and I, we both, we both, we soon, we soon learn all their names. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the year goes on and like we just had Christmas break. So right. did you miss them? Tremendously. I'm always anxious to come back. Yes, I do miss them. I love working here as I said before. I have a very nice boss, have a good manager at night time. The people mm -hmm. that work here, they are tremendous. They're all great people. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets along good. So when the kids come back from Christmas break, are they excited to see you? All of us. All of us. They're excited to see all of us. They just said they can't wait. Said They just love the food here. They, they like all of us because we're so friendly. Mm -hmm. And we'll have kids, that'll, students that'll come visiting from other colleges and they cannot get over how friendly we are here. Hmm. And also when I see someone new come through, I'll say, oh, I don't think I've seen you before. You visited and they can, oh, wow, she knew that I'm just visiting here and yeah. not a student. I just think that's fantastic that you can treat the students that way. And I just imagine my son and daughter someday oh. going to college and every parent would want that. Well, for their child. That's the way I kind of felt when my son went to college. I mm -hmm. hope that somebody took care of them like, and that's what I try to do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just what you said. Well, mm -hmm. that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. What about um, on birthdays? You guys do something special for birthdays here in the yes, cafeteria. Yes, all the birthdays, they are up on the board and they have birthday cakes and come out and sing happy birthday. And if it's in the summer or when we're off, we'll still ask for it. We'll still give them all a birthday cake. Okay. And their tradition, the fountain, they throw them in the fountain on their birthday. Oh. No matter how hot or how cold it is. Okay. And it might be right at midnight before they throw them in, but they get them all by surprise. That's one of their traditions here. Okay. <laughs> but you don't throw them in the fountain. Oh, no, no, You just no, make them no, a cake. No, 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 But they want to throw me in, and I said no. Oh. No. You've no. made it so far with not being thrown not in? Not having to be thrown in. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. good. <laughs> well, when you are out and about in the community, do you see former students? Students who have oh, been yes, here yes. and talk a little bit about that. Okay. 
I see them, you know, often and on. I see them at Walmart, or mm -hmm. I've even seen them at church, the ones that went to our church. And mm -hmm. I'll see them here on campus, and sometimes I can't remember their name, but the faces I never forget. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone who I've met and talked to on campus since I said I was going to do this story just said, oh, Miss Martha, we love Miss oh, Martha. They said you. you are just a legacy on this campus. Oh, my goodness. I wouldn't say that, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does that make you feel to know that you are such an important part of someone's college experience? I feel very humble. I get very emotional, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, okay. But I just think that's so special that, that God has chosen you to be such a, a, a neat part of, of someone's life. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Heather. Well, you mm -hmm. are so welcome. The cafeteria is a very popular spot on campus, which may be true at any university because college students love to eat. But you all have people like Miss Martha and other food service staff that really make this a great place to be. Talk a little bit about that and why people love being here. Uh, we hear comments from students every year, especially those that have graduated and come back, that they miss that personal aspect. And you don't really see that a lot. The ladies really make an effort to get to know the students, their names, where they're from, so they feel more at home. Um, there's some students that they really draw out of their shell and help them stay more comfortable, and I think that makes a difference in the kids that ultimately stay here versus going back home. But it just makes them feel comfortable, makes them feel better about being here, and they just um, they feel like they're at home while they're here. And you had mentioned as we were talking off camera that it's normal for people who live on campus to maybe have a meal plan for the cafeteria. But you all here at Hendrix see that even people who do not live on campus are purchasing a meal plan just so they can eat here in the cafeteria and be a part of this kind of community almost. Uh, I think that speaks a lot to the, the quality of food that we offer. but. Mostly, I think it speaks to the, the quality of people that, that work here and people like Miss Martha making the kids feel comfortable. But, uh, you know, some students are required to have a meal plan and they purchase those, and the, you know, whatever they feel meets their needs. But then off-campus students don't have to. And a large majority of those, I don't know the exact numbers, still choose to eat here with us because they like the atmosphere and they, they like the food that we serve. So that's a, that's a great testament to us. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Dominique, you are a senior here at Hendricks College, and you know Miss Martha from being a student, but you also have worked here in the cafeteria. So tell me just about Miss Martha. To Hendricks, I would say Miss Martha is probably like a superhero. You know, she has like, she's super compassionate. She has like this mega memory. Pretty much if she doesn't know your name, it means you don't eat food. <laughs> yeah, and if I even had part of her compassion, I'd probably be a better person. If I had her memory, I'd definitely be a better student. Mm. She's just amazing, just so nice. Mm. Do you remember the first time you ever met her? Was it from working here or was it as a student? Do you remember your first interaction with her? It was freshman year, my first time eating in the cafeteria, and I was really confused and nervous because I didn't really know anybody yet. And then I walked in and she asked me what my name is. I told her my name. And then that was lunchtime. By dinner time, I came back, she already knew my name. And so it made me feel really welcome. Mm. So that was the first interaction. Yeah. Describe for me, if you will, the cafeteria here at Hendricks and the atmosphere and just how your service workers and how they interact with the students. Well, I think it's interesting because Hendricks is such a special place, but one of the most special places we have at Hendricks is our cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And it comes all from the people that work at the cafeteria. At the heart of that is Miss Martha. Mm -hmm. um, they make the students feel like they're the most special people in the world and every individual student comes in and feels like they're special. And it comes just from the attitude from the start. It comes from the homemade attitude they have. But they embrace every student in a way that is special. No other college that I've worked at has ever had anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so we're blessed to have Miss Martha here. And she, she makes this place shine in ways that uh, other people have not ever seen at any other college. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so interesting because, I mean, as far as I know, that's not something that's in your handbook or that you take aside and say, this is how you must do this and you must learn every single person's name. This is just their standard of care, so to speak. It is. It's an ethos, uh, if you will. And I was stunned by it because the very first time I came here three years ago, I came in and they immediately went, who are you and what are you doing here? And, and, and oh my goodness. And it's one of those things where... You, I felt it myself, and I walked away from there. I go, what is this crazy place where, where these people who work in a cafeteria would have such love for our students? And that's what it is. And it is. It's love. And it's the fact that they just love being here, and they love giving that attention to the students. When we're closed, they're sad. When we open up, all of a sudden you see these 
people come alive and say, the students are back. And I'm like, oh, they are. <laughs> but it's, it's great. They just, I, I can't explain it because, like I said, I've worked at places where there is a relationship between the students and staff, but it is so much a big part of Hendrix. And uh, to have people who work at a place have such passion for the people they serve, that's great. When one of our viewers told me about Miss Martha, I knew she would make a great segment for the show. What I didn't know is how much she would bless me personally and inspire me to want to become just like her when I grow up. So thank you, Miss Martha, for inspiring all of us. And we'll be right back after this. 